hello guys and then welcome to another video um in case you are new here kindly subscribe okay subscribe and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploaded video okay so this um video is going to be very very concise and then very very simplified okay so we will be creating um short and open circuit okay and then learn how to um identify resistors which are in series okay and then resistors which are in parallel okay now without um further ado let's just dive right into this video okay so um when we talk about um apply electricity okay we have short circuits and then we have open circuits okay so let's first identify what um a short circuit is okay so short circuits have zero resistances okay it means that um short circuits don't have resistances on them okay right this is how we represent um short circuits okay this is how we represent short circuits okay they are represented in this form so let's take a look at the first um circuit we could identify that um from our yb to c okay is a short circuit right B C is a short circuit because we have no resistance on it. Okay, B C is a short circuit. Okay, but the rest are um a connection of circuits because we have resistance on them. Right. Let's take a look at the second example. Okay, so we have another short circuit over here. Right. That's because it has no resistance on it. Okay, it has zero resistance. Okay. Now. Let's take a look at um, open circuits. Okay, so open circuits are circuits that prevent current from flowing through them. Okay, they prevent current from flowing through them. So this is how we represent open circuits, right? You could see that they are open. Okay, there's a Y. Okay, and there's another Y, but the Y, the Y have been disconnected. Okay, so you could say that open circuits are disconnected Ys. Okay, let's look at this example. You could notice that. We have a resistor over here, right? It means that current is flowing through this resistor R1, right? This resistor, and then the current is flowing from the positive side, okay? From here, okay? The current is flowing from here, right? To this point, and then the current will also pass through this point, right? But when it gets there, the current gets cut away, okay? The current is not able to flow from this point to this point, okay? So this is where we have our open circuit okay they prevent current from flowing through the right yes i know that this has been well simplified and then you get to understand it better right now let's dive right into resistors in series okay now when we talk about resistors in series okay resistors in series are resistors that have the same current flowing through them okay so let's take a look at this example you have resistor r1 and the resistor r2 okay you could notice that from here from the voltage point we have the current i okay this current i will flow through resistor r1 and then flow through resistor r2 so it will flow in this direction and then come back to this point okay so with the current always flow from the current it always flows from the positive end of the voltage source okay and then comes back through the negative Point, okay so the longer one is the positive and the shorter one is what negative so these two resistors have the same current flowing through them it means that this um, circuit containing resistor r1 and r2 are in series okay the same current is flowing through them okay now let's look at this example so now when we could then state that resistor r1 okay and then R2 watts are in what series okay because the same current is flowing through R1 and then R2 current I is flowing through R1 and R2 there is no breakage where the current slip and um, what splits okay so the same current is flowing through R1 and then R2 let's look at this example okay now let's look, take a look at this R1 and then R2 okay so you could notice that we have current I2. This current I2 will pass through the entire of resistor R1 
then R2, okay? Now, this means that resistor R1 and then R2 are in what? Series, because the same current is flowing through them, okay? So you could state that resistor R1, okay, and R2 are in what? Series, okay? Now let's look at resistors R3 and R4. So we could, from here you could notice that we have current I1, okay? This current I1 is flowing through R3 and then R4, okay? There's no other current flowing through R3 and R4, okay? So the voltage source is here, the current will start from here, that's R1, okay? And then it's, it will split some, some will go to the left, some will go to the right, but note that the only current I is flowing through R3 and then R4, okay? Current I is flowing through R2 and R4. So we have R3 and then what? R4 being in series, okay? R3 and R4. R3 and then R4 are in series. Okay, now let's take a look at resistors R5 and then R6, okay? So from here, as the current splits, okay, we have I1 going through passing through R2 and then R1 and then we have I which is already passing through R3 and R4 but when the current splits and then we have I3 you can notice that only I current I3 will pass through R5 and then R6 okay to pass through R3 and our current I3 will pass through R5 which is the R5 and then raise the R6 okay now when that happens we can then conclude that just as R5 and R6 are in series because the same current is passing through them, right? Yes, it's as simple as this. Once you know this, once you use this formula or once you know this approach, it becomes much easier for you, okay? Now, let's take a look at something over here. So we know that R5, okay, and R6 have the same what? current i3 passing through them now let's take a look at this when i1 splits and then we have i2 and i3 i3 will pass through r5 and r6 and then when it gets back to this point it then becomes i1 again okay because i1 is the main current source that's from the voltage so the same thing applies to i2 so the i2 will pass through i r1 is the r1 and r2 and then when it comes to this point it will just um, converge with the I3 and then they form current I1 again, okay? So now we've been able to identify um, resistors which are in series, okay? We know that once the same current passes through two resistors, okay? It means that we have what resistors in series. Now, how do we, how do we calculate resistors in what series, okay? So this is how we do it. So since we know that R1 and R2 have the same current passing through them, all we have to do is um, add them, a simple addition, okay, simple algebra. So we have R1, okay, plus R2, okay. So this is how we calculate for resistance in series, the total effective resistance in series, okay. Now let's take a, let's take a second example. You could notice that R1 and R2 are also in series over here because the same current is passing through them. Okay, so you just use the same approach, total resistance called R1 plus R2, okay, and then the same approach for R3 and R4, okay, you just add them, so we have the total resistance, okay, is equal to what, R3 plus R, what, 4, the same applies to what, R5 and R6, so we have R5 plus R6, okay, yes. So this is how we calculate for resistance in series, the effective resistance or total resistance in series, and then how to identify resistors which are in series. You see, it's as simple as that. Now let's take a look at resistors in parallel, right? When we talk about resistors in parallel, they will, they will tell you that whenever you see resistors um, in parallel, it means that the same voltage is flowing through them. What if I could introduce another approach, okay? Yes, the same voltage must pass through the, the resistance, but what if you can just narrow your idea, okay, your knowledge, and then you will then notice that since we know that resistors which are in series have the same current passing through them, 
In contrast, we could also state that resistors which are in parallel have different current passing through them. Okay, but it might sound confusing and a bit um, cumbersome. Okay, so what I want you to do is that um, you use the approach written in green. Okay, it's very, very simple and then straightforward. So notes whenever you see two resistors okay and and then they are in parallel what you have to know is that once you is a, once you are able to traverse them okay traverse through them without passing through another element okay it means that they are in what parallel so these elements could be voltages they could be other resistors okay Elements could be voltages and then resist resistors. Okay, now so whenever you want to identify resistors which are in parallel, one thing you need to know is that once you traverse around them, or once you traverse them, or once you traverse through them, it means that the resistors are in in parallel. Once there is no other element, okay, so two resistors are in parallel. If it is possible to traverse them without passing through another element. Note, other elements could be what? Voltage source or another resistor, okay? Now let's take a look at the first example, right? So, what, what, when we want to identify resistors which are in parallel, you just traverse them, okay? Traverse through them to identify whether there is another element between those two resistors. Whenever there is no other element between those two resistors, it means that the resistors are in what parallel. So let's take a look at resistor R1 what and then R2. Let's start from here. Let's traverse them and then try to identify whether they are in parallel or not. Okay. So let's start from here. Let's traverse. So let's start from here. Once we traverse through this, the two. Wow, yes, we could notice that there is no other element whilst we are traversing through them okay it means that the two resistors are in what parallel okay they are in parallel because we, once we try traversing through them we didn't meet another or we didn't come across another what element such as a voltage source or another resistor okay so you could notice that r1 okay is in parallel okay with r2 let's take the second example okay now we want to identify whether r1 and then r2 are in parallel so what all we'll be doing is traversing through them okay we will traverse them and then identify whether they are in either parallel or not so let's start from here okay so when we traverse through them okay when we traverse through them yes could notice that we didn't come across any other elements okay like a voltage source or another resistor okay so it means that r1 okay and then r2 are in parallel okay now let's take a look at the third example we want to find out whether r1 and r2 are in parallel or not okay so let's start from here okay and then let's traverse through them okay yes yes you can notice that we didn't come across any other element aside the two resistors okay so r1 okay and r2 are also in what parallel but once you come across another element okay um once traversing through them okay it means that the two resistors are not in what's parallel i'll do an example and a similar example so that you identify how to um, notice resistors which are in parallel and then what in what series or not so let's say we have this voltage source okay and then we have what something like this okay right and then we have something like this okay right right now this resistor one we have resistor two and then we have resistor three now we want to identify whether these resistors are in series no whether they are in parallel okay or not we can identify whether they are in series from here because 
definitely the same current will pass through resistor two and then three. Okay, but we are our main focus will be trying to just identify whether the resistor maybe resistor one and then resistor three are in what C, parallel or not. Okay, but from here we could notice that resistor two and then three are in what series because the same current will pass through them. Okay, yes, and then once you get the a resistor to be in what series you can just simplify it into a simple resistor so that it will be in what it will be in, in a form like this okay so that resistor one will be in parallel with that resistor okay but we just want to identify whether one and three or one and two are in parallel just from the onset okay now let's traverse through them so once you traverse through this okay you can notice that we've come across another resistor there's another element okay it means that you cannot just start from here and then traverse and then try to identify whether resistor i1 and 2 or 1 and 3 are in series or not okay yes so this i i guess this explains a lot okay so but a, a different approach would be could be also used okay we could find we could notice that two and three are in series because most definitely the same current will pass through them and then once you simplify this we we'll get to notice that um the circuit will be simplified as this okay i have this form right yes so we could notice that you already have the resistor one but we've simplified this form by finding the exact value for resistor 2 and 3 because they are in series because and then we know that finding resistors in series we, we, we just use this approach okay this um, so, um equation okay so once you simplify this it becomes this okay once you simplify this and then that you add them that's what i mean once you add 2 and 3 it means that what we've simplified this into this form so we have this now we could just arrive at our answer okay by just going through them okay traversing through them and then we notice that we didn't come across any other elements okay but you cannot do same for this circuit because there's no way you could find um, a parallel combination right here unless you simplify the resistor two and then three okay simplify resistor two and three okay to get something like this and then you traverse through them okay now this is how you find the total resistance okay so we've identified that r1 and r2 are in parallel in this same applies to this form same applies to this okay so this is how you find your resistors and what total resistance which are in parallel so you have r1 okay you have r1 and then you multiply that with R2, okay? And then you divide that with R1 plus R2, alright? So this is how you identify your resistors in parallel and then calculate your resistors in parallel. Hope you understood this section. In the next video, we'll be talking about um, finding effective resistances. That's where you you find resistors in total resistors in series and then total resistors in parallel. Hope you enjoyed this video and then I will see you in the next video. Kindly subscribe and then like and comment, okay? Share and then I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.